Kids Adult Listen Up Conversation. Thank you all for coming out. It's lovely to see each and every one of you. If you guys don't know me, my name is Yolanda Owens. I am Prevention and Education Manager. I have been the manager for the last what, year, uh, year and a half, and I have been with the agency for 18 years. <laughs> what an amazing agency to work for. So again, thank you guys for coming out. I know you guys could have been anywhere else, but you decided to share your amazing day with us at Between Friends. And again, we say thank you, welcome, welcome, and welcome. To the live little brother that's five years old. And at first, I didn't know what it was like to be an older sibling and having that responsibility to try to be strong for him. And then I was taught growing up to always be strong. I never was able to show my emotions until I hit a certain age. So it's like, instead of us having to hide our emotions, even the boys in general, like she said, boys shouldn't be able to be scared to like show their emotions. They should be able to cry on somebody if they need to or if they have to break down sometimes to let it out, they should. Why is it that you all feel like um, you all can't understand your sons? Mm -hmm. Or that... Um, you said, I love it. Mm -hmm. I got something. Yeah. Why is it that you all feel like you can't understand your son or have that type of power with your child where they can come to you about whatever you talk about? It might take a little bit of a journey to get there, but I think also the piece I heard that I want to just acknowledge is this idea of being vulnerable with someone and being real and really wanting to know and then not feeling that that was heard and reciprocated. And I think and for those moments that that happens, I think it's important to acknowledge that, that, what, that you're wrong. You were wrong in that moment. And I think I, it's important to kind of just acknowledge if somebody tells me you're hurt, I'm not gonna tell you you're not hurt. I need yeah. to hear that you were hurt and maybe something I did cause that hurt or contributed to you being hurt. And for that reason, I wanna apologize. And how do I fix it? Or how do I, how, how do I acknowledge my part in it, my role in it? But knowing that, just acknowledging that hurt is an important fundamental part of it to be able to build from there. Believe me, coming from me, I'm just letting you know, we are all still grown. We may be older, we may have had different experiences, but we are growing every day and learning new things. We're learning, we're even still, some of us still learning how to be adults. Because if you did not have that adult life when you started young and this, some of us are still trying to figure it out. And we put up, because I guess we feel we're supposed to put on that face as if we know everything, so we do it. Um, but we don't know everything. We are still growing. I'm 56. And there's things that I'm learning about myself that I didn't know about myself. I still, I'm learning things from my adult children. We need to just learn how to say, I don't know. Mm. Simply, I don't know, because our children are expecting us to know everything. We are the dictionary, the encyclopedia, we're the internet, we're everything. They're coming to us. I don't know how many times my children will tell me, their friends, why you gotta go to your mama? Why you gotta tell you in college, my daughter in college, like, why you gotta go to your mama for everything? Like, I didn't know everything, you know? But you learn and you grow to do that, but it's okay for us to say, I don't know. Let's figure this out. Let's look this up. Let's ask. Let's get some help. It's okay for us to do that as parents. We don't. We should because you all are coming to us and getting answers from us. But we have to learn to be transparent and let you all know. I don't know. My daughter tells me everything, and I don't know if it's always the best thing. Um, it's hard. I, I don't. I don't know. Um, I like feel you right now because we have my daughter and I have this where she's like, I shouldn't have told you. I'm like, I don't know if you should have or not. Um, but now I've got to hold you accountable because you told me. Um, because we want what's best for you, right? And I also know I'm 42 and boundaries are hard. Like I'm constantly trying to figure out my boundaries and I have to be in touch with me to know where that boundary is. It's really hard as a teen to be in touch with yourself. Your pathway is present. So when we open those pathways, then we can have a conversation very open and direct. Because I understand that your intent is not to disrespect me. Your intent is to have an open dialogue with me to have a conversation about something that you experienced through me. 
that I can only know about if you tell me about it. But if we have not established any norms of communication and we don't understand what that looks like, everything that come out of your mouth to me could feel like you're trying to talk down to me, that you're better than me, or that you just haven't figured out how to responsibly communicate yourself to your person. And so I think boundaries and bound, boundaries and expectations are important. Because if you don't do that, we can misunderstand each other. And so. so they held it in. And so when you hold those emotions in, eventually we know that it's going to come out. And sometimes it lashes out in the wrong way. In the wrong way. So this is just the first conversation. Maybe we can have ongoing conversations. So my heart is so heavy walking away. But I want you guys, young people, to understand that you do have a support system. We love you. We believe in you. We love and respect you.